What is good, guys? It's Ray J back with another video. And this one breaks down what's going on with Spy, Tesla, and Nvidia, the QQQ, and many tickers out there. I'm going to break down some very important news that's coming out involving the earnings so far and how they're looking, what you should be watching for moving forward. Before I break anything down about all this information, let me just mention a couple of things. Firstly, I am not a financial planner, so take none of this as financial advice. And don't forget about the Weeble link. The offer ends very soon. If you deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to 12 free stocks. Anyways, now let's talk about the market, what's going on with the different stocks out there. I just want to remind you guys that at about 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern time, we have some Fed speakers coming out. Make sure you are ready for that because we're going to see more volatility. Once again, at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern time, uh, that's going to be 30 minutes after the market opens. So just be prepared for that. And on top of that, the biggest thing right now the market's focused on would be these earnings. And so far, the large majority of the banks are beating on expectations. But please remember that expectations have been lowered because we were expecting the worst round of earnings for the entire year for this quarter so far at least according to wall street that's why expectations have been lowered and so far banks have been beating quite nicely so i'm going to break down these numbers just a little bit there was one negative piece of news though that's charles schwab's uh deposits falling about seven percent in the second quarter but despite that they actually had you know decent earnings which is very interesting to witness now morgan stanley came out and they actually beat estimates on a new record for their uh, revenue overall so once again they're good for them uh, they beat eps and revenue so that's once again positive for them bank of america also had an eps above expectations with revenue also beating so that's good for them as well and then Charles Schwab once again beat on earnings and the majority of the banks have been beating on these expectations so once again awesome stuff so far there is some news that came out about how the u.s house has passed another contentious uh defense spending bill that is up to you to decide if you support it or not i'm just calling this out because this could lead to more liquidity being injected into the system so just worth noting and there was also now talks about how the dow was on a tear right now especially after seeing these banks doing quite well and on top of this uh the bank earnings are going to be one of the biggest things to drive the day that is true and to add on to this goldman has dropped the recession odds saying that the u.s once again uh, we are going to likely see a decline but they're saying that the odds of a recession have gone down and the contraction may not be as bad as expected according to some chief economists and no one knows for sure of course we're not going to like solely depend on this but this will affect sentiment and this is improving things just a little bit the majority of the news that came out has been quite positive for the markets but we're going to see how the market reacts because once again the market is not solely run on like news that's not the only factor technicals do matter as well so from a technical standpoint i'm going to be looking at this channel on spy we have a nice uptrend being respected but uh we're going to be watching if we could actually hold these levels just like this if spy breaks below this uptrend on this channel which is where our support happens to be i'm going to be watching to see a retest of this 450 area if it breaks below that, then we're going to be watching the lower end of this other channel that it potentially has. And that's going to take it all the way down to about the very high 448 to 449 area, which is going to be the next support zone if this is respecting a channel like this. And if that is the case, I mean, you're going to be watching to see how it reacts to these. So you could, you know, note this down and, you know, try to copy this down if you want. Maybe take a screenshot of it if you are interested in just looking at this. But I also want to add that there are important levels to look out for. Now, there's a possible head and shoulders developing on SPY right now. But that would, you know, lead to SPY essentially coming down. And if that's the case, that's once again going to be followed by another right shoulder to form a little bit later. But so far, I mean, there is a possible like left shoulder and a head that has formed. Then that would imply there could be a little downside for another bounce. However, I am not going to be solely fixated on this pattern in a way where I, you know, I'm forced to believe that's what's going to happen. I'm going to be very, very adaptive to whatever ends up happening. I'm going to be very unbiased this moment looking at this and trading this. So we're going, to, we're going to be watching the 30 minute time frame and look at the 50 EMA, which is where SPY is trying to hold right now. If it breaks below the 50 EMA and the 450 area, it's going to likely start sinking all the way down to 449.5, potentially the high 448 area. And in the 448, if it does end up sinking all the way down there, we're going to be watching for a potential bounce around here, right? For that potential right shoulder test. And also, it's going to correlate with this trend line right here, which happens to be around the very high 448s around this area. Maybe a little bit lower. It could come in a little bit lower and just try to bounce. But you could see how this is once again playing out. If we are going to form like a double bottom and bounce or something like that, I'm going to be noting these levels very carefully. Now, if it tries to bounce off 450, you're going to be watching 
450.5, 451, this entire zone right here, if it breaks above 451, then we could see this thing try to make another attempt for 451.36, break that, this high right over here, then we're going to push to the next high, if not higher. So, so you're going to be watching these levels. Could we get above 451 or are we going to break below 450? We're basically stuck between them. We're just going back and forth in the pre-market. We will see which direction it chooses. It is kind of indecisive right now with all these earnings coming out. So just be safe. Technicals are suggesting maybe some potential downside. Our earnings are suggesting upside. We're kind of in the middle. So we're going to wait and see what happens based off our confirmation. Now, my Wi-Fi is a little slow. Hopefully that this doesn't like interfere too much. I'm not going to switch time frames as well because of that. So this is on a nice uptrend. Uh, it's a little down in the pre-market, but it does have a tendency of pumping once market open comes. We could see Tesla try to make its way up very close to this 292 area. If it breaks down, we could see 295 and then another rejection. The trend is more bullish. It's holding above the 30 minutes. 50 EMA, so that's going to be our support to watch for for the day. So I'm going to be watching Tesla, maybe get a pump up to either 292 or 295, come right back down, retest our 50 EMA around the very high 280s. And I think Tesla is just, just going to hold around this area for some time. If the market does slow down, it's going to come down to the very high 280s, maybe make it right back up and continue to trade sideways for a little bit of time before it tries to push up again. But I think it's going to try to make its way back up in the 290s, trying to hold there later on during the day. So I'm still leaning direction of Tesla holding up so far. Now for the triple Q, we're going to be watching something very similar. How does it react to the 50 EMA? If it breaks below this, we're going to be watching 380. If that fails us, there's 378 and lower levels like that. If it bounces off this 380 area, we could be watching for uh, you know, a retest of 382, then potentially 383.5. We're still in the middle. There's a possible head and shoulders on it. So just like what I said yesterday, it's still stuck right now. So we're going to be watching for confirmation. And last but not least for NVIDIA, it's once again green in the pre-market after getting more bullish news. Uh, in my videos previously, I was talking about how 450 could be the bottom, or it could drop a little bit lower and then try to bounce. For now, it is trying to bounce a little bit. It's now testing this 470 area. And don't forget, I believe it's going to go all the way up to 500 plus by the time we get to uh, the month of August, by mid-August. So I'm still very bullish on it. So we're going to be watching, could it try to break above 470? If it breaks that, you're going to be watching 475. If it rejects, watch 462.8 as our major support. If that fails for NVIDIA, 462, the entire zone, it's going to come sinking down into the 450s. So watch these levels very carefully. Uh, my gut tells me it's going to test at least 462, and then we're going to see how it reacts. Uh, could We could come down to like 460 or so. But just, just to be safe, watch these levels very carefully and do what you guys have to do. All right. So thank you all for listening. I want to keep this video kind of short because I'm actually very late. I'm very tight on my schedule right now. Uh, take care, everyone. Remain calm, cool, and collected. Watch your levels. And don't forget, we have some Fed speakers later on today at 10 o'clock a.m. All right. Thank you, Tesla and the market to the moon, as the long term is still incredibly bright. And peace out.